the activities of um, which were witnessed at BOMAS, the National Telling Center, the chaos. You realize that Kenyans were anxious. On my, uh, on my part, actually my heart skipped a bit. It was terrifying to see a chairperson of an independent commission being attacked physically. It was a way of asking other Kenyans to take arms. People belonging to his community could have risen and said that person is being attacked. In, in the melee, and if, to, if that was to happen, another part of the country, because if an individual is attacked physically, he, because he belongs to a community, he's a family member, he's somebody of high, uh, highly regarded in the society, an attack on that person and other commissioners was a way of showing that the country should proceed to engage each other in violence. It was an invitation by those who committed those acts to violence. And that one was preceded by the presser, or it was actually happening at the same time. I cannot tell you who was coordinating the activities, but behind the scenes, there must have been a coordinator. Attack the commissioners, make a press statement, let Kenyans be in a state of anxiety, put the country in anarchy. An attempt to establish that government outside the constitution can be achieved if there's anarchy, there's a state of lawlessness, violence everywhere, and at that point, the chairman was not to declare a result. There was a deadline. If the chairman was to be attacked to a level where he was not going to perform his duties, the next thing would be there was no result. You cannot call the Supreme Court to challenge anything because there is no result. What would have happened? The term of the president has come to an end. Any other way of bringing in a government outside this constitution was supposed to have been activated as by what happened on that day. Any other person outside the Kenya were following the proceedings, those who know what happens um, in terms of coups, they, most of them are holding their breath because it was a moment which this country should never witness again.